Hi, and thanks for tuning in to Asus Tech Tips. Today I've got an exciting unboxing for you. I'm going to be unboxing a Fairphone, which is a smartphone that has been made in a really interesting way. Before I jump straight into the boxing though, I'd like to draw your attention towards the website. You can see it here, www.fairphone.com. Um, and for those of you who are interested, who are not too sure what Fairphone is, um, go check it out and have, have a look through the website. It's, it's really, really brilliant. Um, I, I don't want to be talking to you about it all night. So to summarize it, this company makes their telephone um, with a lot of really interesting values. They care about where they're getting their materials from. They care about the people who are making, uh, who are producing and collecting and selling the materials. Um, there's a, a great perspective on, on the environment, on basically caring for the planet, recycling, how the materials are, are used and reused, how the phone is delivered to you, like you can open it up, you can get to your battery. If something's wrong with the phone, individual components can be easily uh, changed and repaired, which is something you just don't get with, with cell phones today. I mean, um, very, very few uh, smart telephones on the market you can actually open up and, and change your battery on. I mean, I know there are a few out there, but for instance, like my phone, the HTC One M8, I can't get out my battery. Uh, there's very little actually I can get out. Um, the developers of this phone, they don't like that. They're like, what's the point in having a phone when you can't take it apart? You can't see what it's made of. You can't see where the parts are coming from. And if it breaks, it's basically just a, a big chunk of junk that's going to pollute the ground. I mean, it, it's not really properly recycled. This phone that I'm about to show you, um, all of those things are taken into account. If there's something wrong with your phone, they, they can easily change individual parts without replacing the entire phone. They care about recycling, they care about where the materials are coming from. So go check it out, it's really cool. Um, to give you a quick look at the phone from the website here, this is it. The spec, I'm just very quickly going to run you through the spec, it's not fantastic. Um, I've seen better cameras out there. There's newer um, Android and I don't know if they offer um, updates for the Android or not, that's something I need to look into. Um, the one thing I really do like about this phone is it's got Dragon Trail Glass, which is um, it's actually pretty cool. It's up there with uh, Gorilla Glass, if not a little bit better. Um, Google and YouTube um, Dragon Trail Glass and you'll see loads of really, really funky videos of people like hitting their phones with hammers and dropping um, heavy pieces of glass and metal on them and the phone being perfectly fine. It's, it's pretty impressive. So this phone uses that glass. Um, yeah, it's standard phone jack for charging and for your headphones. Nothing, um, nothing brilliant there. It's got GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all the standard things you'd expect in a, uh, a smartphone. It's got an OK camera. It's got an OK rear view camera. And sp oh, sorry, an OK speaker and a, an OK rear view camera, which I haven't had the chance to check out yet, but I will. And even better people this is a dual sim phone this is one of the first ever dual sim phones that i've seen that that actually looks cool um so i'm going to be taking a trip to another country soon and i'll be sticking in my uh, my current primary sim card and then another pay as you go sim card from another country so i'll be switching between the cards to see just how good that really works i can put my micro sd from my current phone into this and see if uh see if it works which i'm sure it will I can remove, replace the battery when it runs out. So the fact that you can replace your battery is really cool because when your battery basically gets, you know, it, it doesn't last a very good charge a year or two down the line. You just buy a new battery and that extends the life of your phone hugely. So that's going to be really great. Here, a quick inside look of the phone. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time looking over this. You can read it yourself from the website. But yeah. So that's, that there is the overview of the Fairphone, and now, here it is. So when you purchase this uh, phone, this is what you get. Now, I have opened the box, and I've taken a look at it, but that's all I've done. I, I, haven't, um, I haven't done anything else. So this will be exactly uh, what you will get when you purchase this device. So here we are. We've got a funky box um, made from a nice cardboard. Uh, probably a recycled uh, paper as well and then in here we have some cards 
uh, this was actually one thing I didn't like for a company that's so focused on the environment and all the materials to me this is a waste of paper these are postcards and I mean this is going to go straight into the recycling um, I, I'm not going to use these so here's your here's your postcards uh, what is that little thing there it is a it looks like a, a chip of some kind here we have a, a blank card. This um, was, I, I watched a really good YouTube video uh, about the CEO of the company talking about where the idea to build this phone came from. And this was one of the things he said, and it's very true. I, I do believe that you don't really own your phone if you can't open it up and see what's going on and change the parts yourself. So yeah, these these here are just, that's going to be recycling. And then here's the phone. Now sadly, this is not my fair phone. I'm doing this review um, for, I'm doing this review to show you guys the phone, but the phone actually do doesn't belong to me. I'm going to be using this phone for a little bit over a week uh, on my trip to get a feel of the operating system, to get a feel of how the phone works, handles, I'm going to use it as if it was my own phone and then I'm going to give you a follow-up review to tell you what I think about it. But basically, there's the phone and we'll look at it more in a second. And here's the rest of the box. So I can take this here out. More cardboard, which I'm going to keep in nice, good condition. And you get your user's guide. And it is in different languages and it basically yeah it's just a basic user guide it shows you you know how to use the phone and whatnot so you can it's normal stuff I'm not going to show you the user guide let's get to the phone so here we are this is the fair phone you've got your navigational buttons down the bottom you can see your little camera for the front uh, speaker down here we have our mic little tiny hole for the mic up the top you've got your power button your charger uh, your charger input and PC connection cable you've got your headphone jack on the side you've got your volume up volume down navigational buttons and that's it here's the back metal plastic speaker now, okay, that's actually quite sturdy. There we go. So, good, good, strong back. I mean, with enough force, it can be bent, but um, it's it's good quality, and that's the point. Here we have your battery. Um, your SD, your micro SD, SIM number one and SIM number two. So here is the um, the inside, and then it comes with one adapter for your SIM card. This is kind of cool, actually, because with all the SIM cards changing sizes and, and whatnot. So. I just popped into a store and uh, asked them for an ultra micro um, adapter. Here is this is to change your normal size SIM card, so you can put your micro SIM in. And if you're using an ultra micro, or I don't know what they're called, but the the slightly smaller ones, then you you pop that in. So hold on. And here here it is in because my, my primary SIM card is this little tiny one. It's the one that's, um, that goes into the HTC One M8. So that's that there. And now, let me grab my SIM card and I shall show you how it works. So I'm gonna pause so you're not waiting around. Okay, so here we are. Um, here is my SIM card, my little, little tiny 
focus camera. Snap, snap. So you see it's, it's, it's bloody small. And uh, this here is just uh, an old unused SIM card that I have, which I'll slap in for SIM number two. And then here we have my SD card. So let me just stick all this together and I'll be right back. Okay, we're good to go. So here's my card and that goes in this way. That's card number one in. It's really cool. There, go, there goes card number two. And I think it's this way. Card number three. So that's our cards in. And now the phone goes in. The phone battery, sorry. And back. And this is the first ever. Now I did charge it, so there is uh, there is power in there. <coughs> hmm. We've got loading. We've got fair phone on the screen. in my pin code for my sim okay so that's my pin codes for my sim cards in and, uh, let's turn it on okay so I was having a bit of trouble with my second sim card so I put in a different second sim card and now we're booting up again So there's our loading screen, a lot of movement, fair phone. English, yeah. Okay, back to the login for the pin number one. And I'm being asked now, I didn't get asked this time to enter in a pin for the second uh, code. So now I'm going to enter in my wireless because I'm at the screen where it's asking for wireless. Now, I have two SSIDs. I've got a one that's on a 2.4 frequency and one that's on a 5 gigahertz frequency. And obviously this phone is not able to connect to 5G or to... Um, 802.11m because I only see 802.11m 5, 5G frequency, sorry, because I only see 2.4. And now I don't know what my 2.4 password is, so I'll pause you again and figure that out. One second. Okay. So you should be now connected to your Wi Fi. And uh, do I have a Google account? Yes, I have a Google account. Alrighty, entering in my password. Okay, so now I've just put in my um, my password and my username, but because I've got two-step verification, I need to sign in online. So that's what's happening here. I've got the, uh, the Google login screen. Now this is going to be interesting because I need to get a text message sent to my phone. So we shall see how this goes. Okay, so I've managed to get one of my codes working. And, uh, I'm not sure what's going on. It's, oh, here we are. Okay, so location services. I've got to give it a name, so giving it a name. All right, so I've given it a name. I click next, and this is what I see. Hello, 
it's pretty funky actually. Alright, so again for the full language. You click English, set up Wi Fi, you click to the one that's already there. And now I'm at the, the login, or uh, sorry, not the login, the basically, you know, the, the standard screen. So Android 4.2, normal, you move to the side to see what you want to look at your options menu, here are the apps. And it's just basically your, your standard uh, 4.2 Android. But now you've seen the initial setup of the phone. Uh, I don't know very much about this phone right now. I'm going to have a week to mess about with it. Up the top here, you can see uh, the two little the two little uh, SIM card icons. That's pretty cool, actually. I wonder how we can change the SIM cards. So, phone. Oh. So cool. Okay, so there you go. Um, back to the home screen. So the way it works is you move to the side, you select your phone or message, and you basically you pick right here which one you want to use. So primary or secondary. Switch. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like it. This is one of the coolest du dual SIM cards phones I, uh, I've seen so far. Another thing that I notice is the phone comes uh, comes rooted. It's open. There, there's no messing about. So for all you people who are not very technically minded and are not comfortable with messing around with a computer and command prompt and all that to carry on to, uh, to basically root your phone, um, you don't need to with this. This phone, very awesomely, comes already open. So you can do everything um, uh, an already rammed and rooted an open phone does. There are no restrictions, there's no locks. Uh, it's really, really nice. So, camera. I know it's a bit difficult to see with my crappy um, webcam, but that's, that's just pretty good. We've got a bit of a tutorial going on here telling you how to use the phone. Camera looks good. Nice. And that's it, guys. That is the, uh, the Pair Phone, which was made with uh, minerals and parts and materials that were sourced from uh, the Congo, I believe, um, uh, directly from the, from the guys who do the mining. Uh, the, the people who build the phone make sure that um, the guys who are doing the mining get a decent wage, that they're well treated. Um, it's, it's really cool. Go to the website, check it out. Um, just from um, an ethics point of view, I can, s I can recommend this phone. I, I really do think it's pretty awesome. I will have a, a review for you in a week's time, letting you know how I've gotten on with it and what I think. Um, but I've got to tell you, I'm off to a really, really good start. So, yeah, thank you all for watching and um, talk to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.